Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. I wanna give you a few quick tips when working with Boca. So our Boca looks really nice here, but it definitely does look computer generated because it's a little bit too perfect and uniform. So let's find a few tips to make this a little bit more interesting. All right, so this is Octane, but you can do this in any render engine. Let's go to our depth of field section here. And obviously our aperture is what makes these lights blurrier or less blurry. And then we have these settings underneath, which a lot of people don't play with, but there's a lot of things you can do in here to make your bokeh look more interesting. One thing you can do is take your bokeh roundness way down, and then you're going to have sort of an octagon look and that will add some interest to here. You can also uh, add some rotation to your bokeh, which is kind of interesting. Um, but one thing that a lot of people don't play with is the aperture edge, and this is a pretty cool feature. So it's set to one by default, but let's change this to three and see what happens. And now you can see that we have a harsh edge that's sort of a gradient that goes into the middle and it becomes softer and more transparent. So that's a really, really cool look. Maybe that's a bit too extreme, but if we change that to two, it's a little bit softer and that's a really interesting look. Another thing we can do is play with the aperture aspect ratio, and this is to stretch out the circle. So if we go from one to two, it's gonna stretch them out quite a bit. And just by doing that, we're able to get a very interesting bokeh design compared to these. All right, let's uh, undo those. And one last thing is that if you look at bokeh in nature, it's not very uniform and it's not very perfect. There's a lot of smudges and kind of imperfections in them. So if you really wanna get crazy and add little details and smudges into here, you can actually add a custom bokeh map. Right now you can't access it, but if you go up to the camera type and change it to universal, it's going to give you a aperture shape option, which we can twirl down and go to custom. Now you need a custom map and you can find one online. We do have a product called Boca Pro, which has a ton of different Boca maps. And you can see that these are all real life lenses with kind of smudges and dirt and grime. We even have some that have chromatic aberration. Um, but you can just grab one of these and put it into there. So let's grab something that has some imperfections, maybe something like this, and we will drag it into the aperture texture slot. So now you can see the difference. This one has all these imperfections and smudges and details, and this one looks a little bit more computer generated. Another one that's really cool is this pure one. You can see that we have this white edge, sort of like we were doing with that aperture edge, but the inside of this one is a lot more realistic and it has some smudges and grime. So if you wanna get really crazy, you can go ahead and add some aperture texture maps and you can see the difference, how realistic this looks compared to this one. All right, those are three tips to make your bokeh look even more realistic. I hope you learned something new. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.